They said that he would have a week to live. They um, was telling me to call a chapel and all that stuff. And um, they was trying to um, get me to let him just go. But I was telling them I wasn't ready to let him go yet. He was just fighting for his life, basically. My bag ruptured at 16 weeks. So um, I was basically on bed rest for about eight weeks at home. And so um, I got moved into the hospital at 20 weeks. And uh, I had him at 26 weeks. The first night he was born, um, I got a call that to rush down that he was about to pass away. So, um, so I went down and um, he was um, sorry. <laughs> so um, I went down and um, they told me to call all my family in. So I called them in and um, everyone was praying for him and. My grandma, she laid her hands on him and said prayer for him. Each day went by, he would, he would get like better and then like we'll take 10 steps back again. They told us a couple times that we would be going home, so I'll get excited and then they'll tell us he got sick so we couldn't go home. And then he finally decided he wanted to come home too, so he got it together and I started getting nervous and everything. I was just trying to figure out how I was gonna do everything. Like the nurses at the hospital told me about Family First and they told me that um, they would prefer me to just get it, just get it at least now that um, he was coming home. So this night that I came home, the nurse was there. So it was, they helped me set up everything. Family First came in and they took care of everything um, as far as um, the DMEs and the respiratory, um, all of his equipment, everything he needed, we made sure he had. Um, when I got here, I didn't have anything to worry about. I didn't, um, I wasn't missing anything. You know, he had everything. Um, Prior to discharge, the doctors were saying that um, there was a big possibility that Colin would return back to the hospital from being um, in the NICU to home care because of all of the problems and things you could uh, come across as far as like respiratory issues and other conditions that he could possibly have. Um, with the critical care team, we made sure that that wasn't gonna happen. The critical care team, like I say, they come in and we make sure that we're gonna keep the baby home because that's in the best interest of the family is to keep the baby home. We don't want them to return to the hospital. That's why we give the care and we provide everything they need to stay here with us. Family first is like the best, like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I'm so thankful for Family First. You guys have helped me a lot. In the hospital, they told me that we would have to go back, and thanks to Family First, we have not been back. 